हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे अवर टॉपिक इज एसिड एंड देयर अनहाइड्राइड सो व्हाट आर अनहाइड्राइड्स अनहाइड्राइड्स आर द मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच आर ऑब्टेन बाय लॉस ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम द एसिड व्हाट आर अनहाइड्राइड व्हेन वाटर इज रिमूव फ्रॉम द एसिड देन वी विल गेट अनहाइड्राइड रिवर्स इज ट्रू व्हाट इट मींस व्हेन वाटर इज एडेड इनटू अनहाइड्राइड देन वील गेट करस्पॉन्डिंग एसिड वॉट वेन वॉटर इज एडेड इन टू अनहाइड्राइड देन वील गेट करस्पॉन्डिंग एसिड सो वन थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेंबर गाइज दैट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ इलेमेंट इन द एसिड एंड इट्स अनहाइड्राइड इज ऑलवेज सेम इलेमेंट की ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट उसके एसिड में और अनहाइड्राइड में हमेशा क्या होती है सेम होती है एग्जाम्पल एच टी एस ओफोर Just I told how anhydrides are obtained. Anhydrides are obtained by loss of water. So when HTSO four undergo dehydration with a very strong dehydrating agent, then what happens? H two gets knocked out from the molecule. अगर H two यहाँ से remove किया तो पीछे क्या रहेगा यहाँ पे? Tell me, we'll get here SO three. What will get SO three? Now just I told that oxidation state of element that is sulfur in its Anhydride and acid is always same. Let's verify. In this case, oxidation state of sulfur is plus six. Here also it is plus six. So we can say that SO three, that is sulfur trioxide, is the anhydride of HTSO four, that is sulfuric acid. Next example is H two SO three. कैसे बनाना है इसका anhydride? Just I told loss of water molecule. So remove the water from this molecule. H two plus what's left behind? We'll get here SO two. What we'll get SO two. Again, just we have to check the oxidation state in anhydride and acid also. Here, oxidation state of sulfur. How much it is? Tell me, guys. It is plus four. Here it is also plus four. So we can say that sulfur dioxide is a anhydride of sulfurous acid. So next example is HNO three. What is the next example? HNO3. Again, if you are going to heat it with a very strong dehydrating agent, then what is our first product? H2O. So now, what is the problem? Here hydrogens are imbalanced. Here are two hydrogen. Here is a one hydrogen. So what we'll do? Here is a odd number. Here is a even number. So multiply by this even number to this odd number, and by this odd number to this even number. So now here H2O hydrogens are balanced, but what's left behind? Here we got here two nitrogen and how many oxygen guys? Five oxygen. So we got here N two O five molecule. Let's check the oxidation state of nitrogen in HNO three and N two O five. Here oxidation state of nitrogen how much it is? Plus five. Here it is also plus five. So we can say that nitrogen pentoxide is a anhydride of nitric acid. Now next molecule is HNO two. What is HNO two? Nitrous acid. So, if we are going to heat it with a strong dehydrating agent, what will happen? Our first product is H two O plus. Again, what is the problem here? Here hydrogen are two. Here is a one. So, for balancing the hydrogen, we'll multiply by two here. So, here we got here H two. What's left behind now? Tell me how many nitrogens are left? Two nitrogens are left. That is N two. How many oxygens are left? Three oxygens are left. So, it is N two O three. So, nitrogen di nitrogen trioxide. Is the anhydride of nitrous acid. Again, check the oxidation state. Here, oxidation state of nitrogen is how much? Plus three. Here it is also plus three. Then next example is H two CO three. That is carbonic acid. Again, we are going to heat it with a very strong dehydrating agent. What will happen? Then first H two will be knock out. H two. What's left behind? CO two. So. Let's check the oxidation state of carbon in both cases. Here, oxidation state of carbon is plus four. Here, it is also plus four. So, carbon dioxide is a anhydride of carbonic acid. Next example is a HClO four. It is perchloric acid. So, again, what we are going to do? We are going to remove the water molecule from this acid. So, here is a H two. But what is the problem? Again. Here there are two hydrogen. Here is a one hydrogen. So multiply by two here. So hydrogens are balanced. But what's left behind? Let's check how many chlorines are left. Two chlorines are left. How many oxygens are left? Tell me, guys. 
seven oxygen are left here. So we got here Cl two O seven. So we can say that Cl two O seven is the anhydride of HCl O four. Let's check the oxidation state in this case also. Here oxidation state of chlorine is plus seven. Here it is also plus seven. So yes, this is the Cl two O three. Cl two O seven is the anhydride of HCl O four. Next example is what HCl O three again. Heat it with a very strong dehydrating agent. What is the expected product first? H two O. But again, the same problem is here. Here is a one hydrogen. Here are the two hydrogens. So let's multiply by two here. So hydrogens are balanced. So what are imbalanced now? There are how many chlorines left? Two chlorine left. Here how many oxygens are left? Here five oxygens are left. So we got here Cl two O five. So let's check the oxidation state here. Chlorine is how much guys? Plus five. Here chlorine is also plus five. Yes, so we can say that Cl two O five is anhydride of HCl O three, or also we can say that what acid of Cl two O five is HCl O three. Now next example is H three P O four. Let's heat it. So again, what is the first expected product H two O? So again, there is a problem. Here are the two hydrogen. Here is a three hydrogen. So what we have to do? Here is a Odd number here is a even number. So multiply by this even number to this odd, and by this odd number to this even number. So now hydrogen are balance here. Three to the six. Three to the six. How many oxygen we have removed in the form of water molecule? Three oxygen. So how many phosphorus are remaining now? We got here. How many phosphorus? Two. That is P two. Out of it, three are rem removed. So we got here five oxygen. So P two O five is anhydride of H three P O four. Now next example is H three P O three that is phosphorus acid or ortho phosphorus acid. If you are going to heat it, then first product is H two. Again the same problem is here. There are two hydrogen here. There are three hydrogen here. So let's multiply by this even number to this odd and by this odd number to this even number. So hydrogen got balance here. What's left behind? Now again two phosphorus are left and how many guys? Three oxygens are remaining. So here we got here P two O three. Now one more thing you have to remember, guys. P two O three sometimes it is written as P four O six, and P two O five also sometimes it is written as P four O ten. So don't get confused in this. P four O ten is nothing but P two O five, and it is anhydride of H three P O four. P four O six is nothing but P two O three, and its acid is H three P O three. Now next example is H three BO three that is orthoboric acid. If you are going to heat it with a strong dehydrating agent, then what is the first expected product H two O? Am I right? How many hydrogens are here? Three. How many are here? Two. So in order to balance the hydrogen, we will multiply by two here. We will multiply by three here. ये three यहाँ पे multiply करना है. ये two यहाँ पे multiply करना है. So hydrogen got balanced. Now what's left behind? Two boron are left. That is B two and How many oxygens are left, guys? Tell me. There are only three oxygens are left. So we got here B two O three. Now.